So Tay dropped more receipts and responded to people saying that she antagonized the situation in the previous video. If you have not seen that video, the link is popping up as well as it's down below. Definitely go watch that video and then come back and see Lou's live. But Tay captioned a new video of Lou going off again. She said, I never had to antagonize her for shit to start. She started this fight again drunk because I couldn't find my lighter to give to her. I threw my coat on and tried to leave immediately. She wouldn't let me. Always trying to reason with her. Always trying to get her to remember it wasn't worth it. This is my last video because reliving this shit hurting me but it's my last glimpse of things that have happened just listen bro when she was drunk i just wasn't worth it she probably doesn't even remember half of this shit because she would be so blacked out and when i tried to show her the next morning she would be too embarrassed to watch oh, everything you said, oh, oh. back up for me please just back up i just want a calm night lou and you're getting aggressive you spit on me now you know you have to leave you know it's time for us to separate like i don't understand why you're doing this why you're to the point of spitting you're angry so if you're that angry, you need to get your stuff and go. It's like you want to fight. Like you're more, you're more okay with trying to please your anger for right now than for your life, bro. Think about your life ahead of this. I don't want to be in no problems. I want to live here. I got to stay here. I have a lease here. Please don't do that to me. Please. It's too much. I promise you if I had the lighter, I would have been gave it to you. I really have no clue where it's at. I've been looked for it now. By, the, by now I've looked for it. I don't know where it's at. I do not want to be spit on. I don't want this shit no more. And I don't want this for you either. Because every part of me is, is holding myself back. But it's not even about touching now. I just want to call a cop because I don't want to be here. Like, can we not do this, bro? Can you, can you realize what you Why did you throw a crock pot in my head? Why? Why do you why do you, this? Why are you who you are? Why did you throw a crock pot in my head? Why are you who you are? Why did you throw a crock pot in my why? head? Because they're not worth it. Everybody saying I should show proof. I already have y'all. <laughs> it's on Instagram right now. You go to my page, you go to the thing, I've already showed it. And I had to show it because she called me a liar. Like, I'm not, I would never lie about something like that. That's way too far. And honestly, if I was lying about it, she could sue me if I was lying. That's why I feel so free to say it because I'm not lying. And I, I would feel very free to say it because it's, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. It's all on my Instagram right now. All throughout my story. I already was told that she was going to try to say that the reason why she can't show any proof is because I took her phone. Again, big cat. <laughs> First of all, y'all see that Lou post. She posts stories all the time, whatever the case may be, she posts. She ain't never not had a phone. When she was leaving, when it was already established, cause it was established, Lou, Lou, when she left, I helped her pack and everything like that. It was abrupt, but it was established. When she was leaving, we were breaking up. Lou was on my phone plan because Lou cannot open up a phone plan for herself. I don't know why, don't ask me, not my business. She was on my phone plan. She was, we were leaving each other. We weren't together anymore and she chose Cause I was, remember when we broke up, we weren't mad at each other. She chose to go under the carrier of who she lives with now. So Lou gave me back her phone. I don't know why she would even try to go through that, like try to make it that way or however she's gonna try to spin it. This is what I was told, I don't know if it's true, but this is what I was told she was gonna say. Again, via a person who I haven't talked to in months who literally has told me this because they were upset that this was happening to me, that I was being lied on. Let's just call it spade a spade. Not my family, y'all. Nobody from my family will ever be on Lou's side, but I guarantee I can get people from Lou's family over here. That's how bad it was for me. They like they don't want to see me go out like that. How would I know these things? <laughs> like, how would I know? And I didn't even ask. Of course, I will be worried about how people look at me if I feel like they're given incorrect information that I partook in. If people start gossiping about you, I don't give a about no gossip because it didn't come from me. The problem with the video was I was sitting right next to her allowing her to say that and I didn't say nothing. That ate at me for two months, y'all. Do you know how hard that is to, to feel like you are, you have gone through so much shit with a person, you have seen the worst out of this person and nursed them back to health every morning, even though they spitting on you, chasing you, doing all of the shit. You feel bad in the morning for them because they have a hangover and you know they don't want to be like that. You know how hard that is to deal with and then for them at the end of it to make it seem like they were just sitting in that room acting like nothing nothing was happening? I was in shock. I was, I'm still in shock to this moment. I'm still in 
super shocked that what she has said to me in private and has a prof- apologized to me profusely, she couldn't just correct in public. The way I would have wanted this situation to go down was her just stating, you know, I wasn't necessarily in the bed. I didn't even need her to say what she did. All I needed her to say was, no, I'm, I, I'm not going to cap. I wasn't really just in the bed being depressed while she was like out there in the world. That's all I wanted her to say. That's it. I didn't need her to go into major details. I just wanted to feel like I partook in the truth being told about me. That's it. And again, she went back and forth between stating if she wanted to mention she was volatile or not. She went back and forth. At the end of it, she determined she didn't want to. And I said, I'm okay with that. But I also need her to know that just because I'm okay with her not saying it doesn't mean that I don't feel the need to to say that about myself because it's making it look like you the victim. You're not. I don't even consider myself the victim. I need y'all to understand that as well. I think that I went through something and I know in a lot of you guys' lives, I might, I might appear like a victim, but also maybe I don't feel like that because I got myself out of that shit. So I'm not a victim. I don't know. I'm not a victim. I'm a person that went through some shit and in going through that shit, I lived, I learned, I know what I don't want in the future. I'm sure that's, that's that on that. I don't even like, I don't even want to be dramatic and talk about, when I, you know, the, the crazy thing about when you experience some shit like this, y'all, I'm just being honest. When you are experiencing it, if it's normal to you, it doesn't come across as bad. But when you rewatch the shit and when you, when other people rewatch the shit, it makes you, it, 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 it makes you realize how deep that shit really was. Like to be called a narcissist, but to also know that every single time behind the scenes, I was being called fat, weird, ugly, big short all kind of things which uh, i have i i did not call lou those names just making it clear because i know y'all say well what would you call her nothing because that's not how alcohol works that's not how it works sometimes it would just be because she was in a really good mood and i didn't want to party with her sometimes it would be because she was playing music loud from 12 p.m to 3 a.m and we already had noise disturb the complaints it, it didn't have to be much. And I, the only thing I hate about the situation and the only reason I had to go to therapy for the situation for me, for me personally was to be able to deal with there always being people in the world that will think there was a reason <laughs> for something that there really shouldn't be a reason for. This video was always going to happen and she knew this video was always going to happen. And I wanna make that clear too. This video was not a surprise to her. As soon as the second video was done, I approached Lou like, I'm uncomfortable with how this video went. I feel like it's unfair that you made it seem that I left you because you were depressed. You're not, not trying to be me, but a person might be down or whatever case may be, but she's not diagnosed depressed. She ain't never been to a therapist before. So for me to have gone through all of the things I went through and for you to try to manipulate me one last time to just get over on me one last time, you have to understand the type of role that plays on somebody's mental. I was already protecting her from abusing, from telling y'all that she was abusing me. Of course, in the last breath, but I'm still going to protect her. Of course, I only... Stop wishing to protect her when I realized she didn't want to protect me. You were throwing me under the bus for something you know you did. You made me look like an asshole. I felt like that. It's not about what you guys felt because some of you guys are like, well, I feel like she took full accountability. That's cool for you, right? That's good for you. It's about how I feel in the situation. And I know the story wasn't told anything like how it should have been told, in my opinion. In my opinion. Yes, I edited the video. Yes, I... Uh, put it out because I was responsible for editing all of those and we're going to touch base on that as well but I was being abused it takes time to realize that it takes time to process it it takes therapy it takes talking to friends it takes building your self esteem back a self esteem back to say that's enough I wasn't so 
so far off of the last fight because even when we were together, she still fought me. Even when she moved out, she still fought me. Trying, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna talk. I'll look at the comments in a little bit, y'all. But let me just save everything I have to say, cause y'all, like I said, y'all gonna believe whatever y'all wanna believe. That's okay. I just, I always feel the need to share my part, and then of course whatever you believe after that, I, I don't care. What do I want to touch on? Next? I'm trying to think of what she has stated about me, so that I can. Oh, so let, let's just get, let's finish the video part off first. So when I asked her to either make a retraction or I would have to state it because I wasn't gonna go out like that. Like, I'm so sorry, y'all. I know it's eat, like when you're in this type of setting where there's this many people watching at any point in time and people have grown to love and or hate you, you kind of want them to formulate opinions on of you based on the truth. I mean, the truth to the best of its ability. You don't want to partake in telling a lie about yourself. But because I was still in the mood and mode of protecting the situation and trying to save face, not only for her, but for myself too, because who the hell wants to admit that they was a damn simp for so many years? That's what it was. I was a simp for so many years. I had hope and I kept holding on to something that was never going to come. I had hope. I had, I, 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 had I, I, I prayed for what could be. And that's what I held on to because I saw glimpses of it when everybody was sober. So she, and this is another lie that she told. She went back and forth about whether or not she would do the retraction video or the expansion videos, what it would really be called. Cause she, we never lied in the video. Something was just omitted. She's not going to admit to it now, but she doesn't really have to admit to it at all because I just, after so many years of going through that, especially towards the end, I told you it got really bad towards the end. It was for a while, but it got really bad towards the end. I just have so much proof of it. Like you can't deny it. She might still try to deny it, but you really can't. Like you can't deny it. You could lie on me about other stuff if you wish, but to deny it and say it didn't happen. She already lied yesterday on her alive and said it didn't happen. Okay, so what are the videos that I'm showing? What was that? That, that was not me. <laughs> It wasn't me, y'all. Like, it wasn't. I'm trying to, I'm doing this without tears. I'm doing this. I have to be so aware of my emotions because anything that I do, anything that I say is over scrutinized or is potentially like you had to cause it. I'm telling you this right now. When a person drinks, you don't have to cause it. Anything is a trigger. You sneeze wrong. That could be a damn trigger. And anybody that has been through the situation knows I'm not lying. Like, if you haven't been through it, or maybe you, I'm not trying to be me, but some of y'all, the way y'all coming at me is as, 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 as if you might be doing this shit in your relationship. If I wasn't the one that left Lou, I could see how this might look like me trying to stunt or me trying to come up with some shit. Just remember, she didn't leave me. I left her. She did not leave me. She left the house physically, which I was fine with. And we're going to get to that as well. I, I wished for that. If you look at my Instagram story, y'all, I asked her to leave so many times. Like, I wished for that towards the end of our relationship. In the middle of our relationship, I would fight for her to, like, get better. But towards the end of our relationship, I was fed, oh, fed up with it. So, again, I'm just trying to recall the things that were said. Oh. Now, this is something that's interesting. I personally don't have to. I don't even know if I want to go there, bro. I just I don't think I want to go there. Let's just say this. I already know the lie she's going to tell <laughs> on me because somebody who I haven't talked to in months who lives with her told me that's how bad the situation is, y'all. I'm not the only one that has experienced this shit through her. I've literally seen her snuff her baby father in, or her child's father in my face while we were together. I've seen like, it's not, there's nothing that I could have did to deserve that. And I feel like that's where she's going to go with it. Like there's something I did to deserve that. And I'm here to tell anybody in the, this room that's being abused, there is nothing that you can do aside from hitting that person first to deserve somebody to touch you. And I don't care what any of y'all say. I don't care what any of y'all think I am. And I have to make that clear. That's what therapy did for me. That 
gave me the strength to be able to let you know I don't give a damn. All I give a damn is that I saved my damn self. And all I did, all I give a damn about is that I didn't, didn't allow a bad experience to take over something that was good for me. YouTube was good for me. It's something that I worked on for so long. I was accused of never giving, I don't know if she was trying to say I never paid her or if I didn't pay for the last video, it was really hard for me to see what she was talking about. And I was also accused of never giving her a password or whatever the case may be. The password situation is true, but I need you guys to think logically. If a person is hitting me erratically in the midst of them being drunk, would you trust them with your baby? If a person tries to destroy the things you love the most when they're drunk, including my plants. A lot of people have asked me a lot of times why I don't have plants anymore. I always lied about that. I don't have plants anymore because she would throw them all over the house all of the time. I stopped buying them because it don't matter how many plants I would bring in here, she would throw them and I would feel so defeated. You spend a lot of time. Y'all know I had a forest in here. I threw them all out because I had to take away that next level of control. So why would I give you access to the thing that you don't want nothing to do with half the time? Let's just be keep it real. And when you do, and that's the reason why we took so many breaks, y'all. We took so many breaks because I oftentimes had a lot of scratches on my face and there were sometimes I could not cover that shit up. And if she wants to lie about that, go ahead. I don't care anymore. I'm just going to say my truth. And if y'all believe what y'all want to believe. The reason why there were so many breaks we would say is we were having a rough time. But the rough time really was I had, I didn't look right. Am I going to rename the YouTube? Yes. I just have to figure out how to do it. Y'all have to understand, that's my first time coming back to YouTube in two months. I barely know how to work to YouTube anymore. They changed the interface. I hadn't been on for, after those two months, been like six, six months before that. So just give me a second to figure out how to do it. Uh, once again, just got to keep saying it because some of y'all just got this storyline wrong. I If I was the one to be left by Lou... I could just kind of see how y'all could see how I'm doing this for a reason, but beyond what I'm doing it for. But just remember, that's not what happened. I, that's not what happened. So if it's trying to be spun in regards to me, I just don't, I just can't even possibly imagine how she's going to try to spin this. But just understand it's a spin, okay, y'all? Just know that. Just know it from, from the jump. I don't know how else to tell y'all. Just know from the jump. It's a spin. That's what happens sometimes when people get caught in their bullshit. They they got a lot of either they're gonna lie or they're gonna tell the truth. She's choosing to lie, whatever the case may be. I don't care. Am I moving away? So that's a good question too. Um, I have spent so much time moving as a result of this situation, y'all. And this is again the truth too. Because we had, you know, issues, I would feel uncomfortable living in these places. And that is again in one of and the, the 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 stories that I posted on my Instagram, those were pretty much how all of them went. That's why I posted those because they were the the best versions of it. One version where I might say something small, but not nothing enough for me to get smacked up. And here I go go get it smacked up. One where I don't have to be doing nothing just because I can't find my ladder to please you in the moment. Then that can happen. Uh, I don't even remember why my face got scratched up. All all of that other one, and then one where it's just like. You're just so gone. Now you're so gone at this point that you don't even know why you're doing it. Child, when a crock pot got thrown in my head, I did not know why, y'all. You know how scary it is when you don't know why? Like, what did I, what could I have possibly done to you to have that happen? And then you can't even communicate why to me because you're so messed up. That's the reason why I stayed for so long because I it wasn't the person that I loved doing that to me. That wasn't her. It was the other person, but unfortunately, the other person became too prevalent in the situation. And I, I was seeing that person too much towards the end, and that's what led it to the very end. I, I, it's just a shame that this, time, this whole time, I was just made to feel like I just failed somebody. I didn't just fail you. You failed me, girl. Like, seriously, you failed me. I did everything that I possibly could. And that's what hurts the most about this situation. I did everything I possibly could 
to do right and you just couldn't and even in me leaving you still just can't do right by me I, I don't know I honestly expected for her to apologize and I know that makes me look stupid and foolish and I do feel kind of stupid for thinking that anything could change but I really truly thought that she would just be like not explain too much and maybe be like you know there's a lot of shit that happened but I do apologize that that, that happened I shouldn't have did that I thought it was going to be something simple but for it to be literally uh, basically saying false knowing how many conversations we had about this situation behind the scenes how many times you told me it was done how many times I said I would take it to meetings all of these things you were supposed to take, take me to gambling meetings I was supposed to take you to AA meetings we were supposed to go through this I saw somebody say some crazy this is the craziest thing I, the craziest uh, speculation I saw somebody said Lou was hitting t- <laughs> this is funny y'all Lou was hitting Tay because Tay was gambling her money away no y'all no I never gambled none of Lou's money away ever ever Lou and I said it even in the video Lou was never affected by my gambling nobody was affected by my gambling but me because I never gambled to the point of not being able to maintain the household I would gamble to the point of just being able to maintain the household so what I was experienced was a lack of growth in that moment, but I wasn't like on the streets itching. I didn't need to make that clear too. Cause y'all, I, I need, I'm trying to fix the narratives, narratives of y'all trying to tell me why I was getting hit. Even though I know I don't have to, but it's just interesting to see why you would think somebody deserves to be hit. Like why y'all would think that whatever y'all think, no, it, it was the alcohol. It was the alcohol. It was 100% the alcohol. That's what was the reason. She didn't have a reason in the morning. She was very apologetic every morning. And I was willing to go through with her because I just knew. And there would be some times where there was spans of where it wasn't happening at all. So that's why I would be hopeful. And that's what happens. They, they won't do it for a while. You get hopeful. And then it happens again. And you're like, well, it took a long time for it to happen this time. But then the it starts to shorten again. And then you're like, well, I'm going to leave. And then it's like, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. So then they stop for a while, but then it starts to shorten again. Like, I think this should be the end of it. After she says what she has to say, as long as she's not making any new lies on me, I don't think I would have to defend myself anymore because I'm not. But if it comes down to it, y'all, I'm not the only person that knows the situation has happened. There's people, like I said, that is not even on my, in my family. It's not my family. Her family, that will vouch for me. Like, it's not. You can't get nobody from my family to vouch for you. I just, I didn't go through this in secret all the way. So. That's that. That's that. All the information that I could share, I possibly shared already. I don't think there's anything else I could talk about. I love you guys. I want to end this live because I don't want, I really wanted to make t-shirts, which is what my goal is for the whole day. Just have me and my sweet tea making some t-shirts, but obviously I know I was going to get away with not talking about this. I'm not going to hide from it. That's the whole purpose of the situation. I'm tired of hiding from it. I just want to go through it so I can move on from my own self. And I think I have touched on it. I don't think there's any other questions. I think a lot of people are asking me how long, a long time. That's all I would say, a long time. Some of those questions kind of make me embarrassed. So if you see me not touch a base on some questions, it's because I, a part of me is still embarrassed that I had to go through the situation too. Like it's not, I'm not totally out of that yet. I'm, I'm able to talk about it. But I'm still embarrassed by it because I look stupid, bro. Like, I look stupid. Everybody saw how much I doted over this woman. And I just, like, I look dumb. But that's just sometimes what, when you love somebody, you be willing to go through a lot. And when you stop loving them and you're out of it, you start to realize, like, the amount of shit you put yourself through. Because ultimately, I could have left way earlier. And I did it because I didn't have a good self-esteem for myself. And I had abandonment issues on my own and all of that stuff. And I believed in all of this shit. And just don't be like me, y'all. Don't be a dumb That's all I got to say. Don't be no dumb like me. Don't let that shit last for that long. Some people might be experiencing it for even more. But just don't let shit like that last that long. 
Now, earlier today, I reported that Lou posted to her IG that she was going live at 11 p.m., which she did watch. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who came into this stream tonight to even spend your time on this matter. Um, I posted and I let you guys know that I was going to be discussing this tonight on this live. What I will be doing, <clears throat> so you guys can hear me, what I will be doing in response to everything that's transpired on Instagram and on TikTok and on YouTube, I will be making a YouTube video. Now, the reason why I will be making a YouTube video about the truth of the matter, the full truth of the situation is because I have found self-value. I deserve the respect. I deserve the platform. I deserve the time for everyone to know what I have gone through for six years. Um, that's what I'm going to do. It was a nerve wracking decision for me to make because I'm not going to lie. I wanted to get on here and I wanted to speak about it tonight. However, I refuse to move a pace. I have nothing that I'm ashamed of. And I repeat that I have nothing that I am ashamed of. I will be making a YouTube video. If you guys want to, I want to make this very clear. You do not need to subscribe to me. My YouTube channel is at all. I do not get any money from you guys coming over and watching that YouTube video. However, if you would like to know the full story of the situation, because I don't even know what to call it at this point, I will be giving it. Um, yes, I was trying to protect myself. I was trying to protect Tay. Um, however, sh there's no point to do that anymore. And honestly, this is a weight lifted off my shoulders. This is a weight lifted off of my shoulders. So you guys, I, re I repeat, I will be uploading a YouTube video explaining all of this. Um, it's unfortunate that this had to go this way. However, what I know for a fact is I cannot sit on this live with you guys and explain to you everything that has transpired within my relationship. I wanna make it very clear again, and I know I will lose some supporters over the situation and you have every right to your opinion. I understand domestic violence is not appropriate. I know that it is horrific. I understand that I'm 34 years old. I understand that I'll be touching on that once we get into the YouTube. I wanna let, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I will be eating breakfast because I have not eaten. I will be very transparent about that. I'm gonna eat breakfast and I will be recording this YouTube. Um, I was saying something though, so I'm gonna breathe, so I won't digress. What was I saying? My apologies, you guys. Thank you so much to everyone. Double tap on the screen. Thank you so much to everyone gifting right now. That's the least of my worries, I, I, I promise you. Okay, YouTube will be released. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'll be re recording this YouTube video and I will just be given the full truth. I will not be showing reactions. I will be showing the full truth. Um, if, oh, I'm not monetized yet on YouTube, so this is not a plug for me to make money to do so. Um, I have to defend myself. Um, this is not my MO. This is not my style of handling conflict. Um, and per what I will show you guys, you will see my style of handling conflict. But when you are back into a corner and you've been so for years and then back into a corner and you know what? I will be uploading. Thank you so much to everyone who has the opening heart opening ears forget your heart close up your heart open your ears and i will be uploading tomorrow thank you guys for your patience um thank you guys for not judging me the people who are not judging me initially um and after i upload that video you you do as you may you do as you may but to all of my supporters to my f to my friends and my family i want to apologize to you sincerely because for years i have been advised to leave this relationship and I decided not to do so. So if I am sorry for anything, and I'm gonna say this now and then I'm gonna get off because I wanna talk about it, you guys. I wanna go in right now. However, I, I deserve more than this. I deserve to be able to wake up, eat breakfast, sit down and compose myself and talk and tell you guys everything that I had to deal with. Seeing as though this is the route that was chosen for us. Guys, this is not the way I would have handled this. However, here we are. So thank you guys so much for being here tonight. I'm about to try attempt to try i hope you all do the same and please you do not have to subscribe to my youtube go to the youtube channel and watch the youtube um and thank you i hope you all have a lovely lovely night have a lovely night 
I will definitely keep y'all up to date when Lou drop her video tomorrow. We will definitely talk about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Love me when you get a one in the moon. I'ma just wait till you finish. Cause you make it bright when it's dimmest. I see the light in your spirit. You my spiritual healer. I felt the evil of woman. And it made me indifferent. Should have been treating you different.